everyone, and welcome to a yet a new session of Built and Deployed. Uh, my name is Henri Diano. I lead the team of Cloud Architects here, part of the North America Cloud Engineering Organization. And with me here today from Zimperium, I have Vamsi Kurukuri. Hello, Vamsi. Hey, Henri. Perhaps uh, you know it makes sense to maybe let us know a little bit about uh, Zimperium. You know what you guys do, uh, the industry you're in, uh, and maybe a little bit about yourself as well. I work for Zimperium as a vice president for engineering services. Uh, I manage the entire production and pre-production infrastructure along with our security operations that comprises of uh, governance, risk, and compliance to be compliant with ISO and program. I also uh, responsible for uh, ensuring quality for our product delivery. So coming back to Zimperium, uh, we are a mobile security company and we provide security for both uh, app and device. I'm curious about how you go about securing your stack and, and making sure it's available uh, in the cloud. Could you walk us a little bit you know, through the architecture in front of us and, and tell us a little bit about how you manage, secure, and, and deploy uh, with business continuity in mind for your customers? Right now, we are deploying an application on a, a virtual cloud network, which has different subnets. We actually segregate our uh, uh, application deployment uh, into a private subnet by segregating an application and data into different subnets. Uh, and we also follow our uh, compliance, which is one of our compliance requirement of being deploying into a, a separate network, uh, which is more secure for application as well as data layer. And also uh, we actually classify how we expose our application into two different networks publicly available network through a publicly available load balancer. And there is like a private load balancer, which is only accessible to our virtual uh, virtual network for uh, accessing our logs or any other, or like administrative piece of managing the infrastructure. That's how we secure applications. Coming back to business continuity. So we are a startup company and we are very rich on using the technologies. And we actually dockerize or containerize all our uh, uh, all our components using Docker. And we are ready, we actually build our tools uh, to actually deploy our application on different orchestration platforms like Kubernetes or Docker Swarm. So in this case, we're leveraging uh, OCI, OKI, uh, Kubernetes platform, uh, where we deploy our application on Kubernetes to ensure reliability, stability, and resilience of the applications. It provides us more scalable and reliable that's how we manage our business continuity. So not only on that, uh, we also leverage uh, Oracle's uh, AD, AD architecture, where the OKE has actually deployed across multiple availability domains. It's not only on one domain, like we're actually ensuring the business continuity across multiple uh, data centers that they actually support and scale across multiple data centers. That's not for just for application layer, we do implement the same way for our data layer. We use Postgres as our database, and that was actually being designed to deploy across multiple ADs and, and having like a fault tolerance uh, in case one AD goes down. That's how we actually business connect. That's great to hear. Uh, I'm looking at also your database layer, as you mentioned, Postgres database. You know, Oracle's always had the reputation of being the proprietary Oracle database company. And, and uh, I'm seeing here evidence uh, for us and all of our partners that we actually support third-party products and, and open source technologies. And uh, Postgres certainly you know, is, is uh, definitely a key product that we're uh, supporting now, in, as you can show here in, in the diagram, in a multi-AD uh, clustered you know, replica fashion. Uh, so that's great to see here. Uh, Vamsi, perhaps, can you talk a little bit to us, tell us a little bit about your multi-region deployments? You guys obviously serve customers around the world. Um, how, how does this architecture change, if at all, maybe not, right? Uh, when you go across regions and, and uh, do you have any multi-region topologies for, for deployments? Yeah, we do. Um, from the architecture standpoint, it's I, I, exactly the same between the regions. And the good part is that uh, Oracle supports that out of the box. Like uh, uh, we use Oracle workloads uh, basically to provision with our Terraform scripts. And architecture remains the same across multiple regions, there is no difference between a region to region. Uh, so that, that's the beauty, like it's like one solution we have built on one region and we can actually deploy that same solution across any other region that Oracle supports across the world. And we do have deployments today all over the globe. 
and we're leveraging the same solution what we have been built, the same security features and same resilience and stability features that would actually be uh, done on one region been applied to all other regions in Oracle. That's great. And obviously, you know, being a, a company that serves many other enterprises, I'm just curious about how you guys have devised for maybe taking advantage of economies of scale with multi-tenancy. Um, does your application support this topology servicing multiple customers at a time, or do you deploy this every time for every new customer? The architecture what we have been designed is unique uh, for both uh, uh, multi-tenant as well as a, as a single tenant. Uh, yeah, we do have our core deployments where we actually deploy our small customers on multi-tenant uh, environments. And I, I, I know that for some compliance reasons, the like customers are actually want to put their data on its own tenant, and that supports out of the box uh, 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 for our application standpoint. And we, we actually leverage uh, the same deployment, build and deploy model, uh, the same architecture for both multi-tenant as well as uh, single-tenant deployments. That's awesome. Now, looking also at, uh, you know, I can, I'm imagining the growth here that you guys have in mind and you have, an, you know, a number of customers, many, many customers already on, on Oracle Cloud. Uh, I'm noticing you have a data dog element here. Is this how you manage the fleet of customers across the board to have a single pane of uh, glass due to monitor your deployments? The good thing is that we are using the SaaS platform, which is like a data dog for our monitoring, that, that monitors both our infrastructure as well as an application that gives us like uh, live metrics and where put where we put like monitors on like uh, like to have some alerts if something going wrong on the infrastructure level of an application level and the OKE platform supports this out of the box uh, and that's that's one of our advantages of actually using OKE uh, by actually in conjunction with Datadog to monitor our infrastructure as well as application across different regions. All right, and, you know, and working with with uh, with Oracle, Bumsi, if, if I may ask, you guys have been on, on other clouds, uh, maybe other hosting data centers historically as well. What did you find unique or maybe differentiated in, in working with the Oracle OCI platform and the Oracle team? We've been striving forward seeing like cost savings of 15 to 20% on Oracle Cloud. Uh, and it's a huge for a company like Zimperium to actually deploy uh, on, on, on a cloud platform, which has all the features, what we need to be like having high available, more resilient, providing like high availability for the customers, as well as more stable deployments with having like a less cost uh, that we are paying for a cloud service. Uh, that's one of the differentiator I can actually tell. And also um, uh, the other part is that uh, the beauty uh, in Oracle is that they provide a flexible sizes which is something actually I feel very good about Oracle, like because we've been trying to provision like compute uh, for our infrastructure that is needed for our application deployment, uh, where they have like standard size. Example, like you know, in our case, we actually need less compute and more memory, right? So we normally forced it to use like a higher compute because like the memory, if we want to get the memory, we have to use like a standard compute, which we either, either use it or lose it. But in Oracle, I can actually configure like a flexible compute what I need uh, for my application deployment that further optimize my cost, how much I'm spending on deploying my infrastructure, like what we have in need. Uh, that, that's that's some, some of the advantages I see on the infrastructure side. Coming back to uh, the commitment from Oracle, uh, we are very pleased with that. With basically, your production services team are working hand in hand with Zimperium to be successful on deploying our applications on Oracle Cloud. In fact, they help us basically to speed up our build and deployment process, building us infrastructure strips like Terraform strips that can help us provisioning the infrastructure, what we are looking at from a GPDM standpoint, customizing the Terraform strips that what we need based on the requirements, what we have been provided. Uh, that's phenomenal. That's something that is some unique I can see that, that we successful on deploying uh, our application on a cloud platform, which is something new to Zimperium. Uh, uh, that's one of the differentiators I can see. Uh, coming back to support, very responsive. I have seen that in some cloud platforms, the support is really a big challenge that in case if we actually run into some issues, we have to juggle through multiple people, do some escalations to get what we need. And this is not only helps Zimperium, it also builds confidence in us and our customers, how quickly we can react for an incident 
uh, right? Uh, that's the difference that I can see uh, in a pharmaceutical standpoint. Well, Bamsi, uh, thank you for the you know great testament to our platform and for the team here. The, to me, as as a leader here of of uh, the architects team, that there's nothing that makes me more happy than to hear. Uh, a testament like this of uh, of uh, you know good confidence on our platform and our team's uh, ability to respond to your needs. Uh, perhaps you know last question here, Avamsi, is what would you say are your you know big big news, maybe future roadmap, exciting things coming and working with Oracle. Perhaps also within your solution itself, what's coming down the road uh, that uh, you know we should we should be uh, looking forward to. We would like to migrate at least like uh, this year, close to somewhere around like 30 to 40 percent of our infrastructure into Oracle, and that that follows by next year as we go. Uh, that's that's part of our roadmap currently, uh, and also we are looking at uh, our global services running on different cloud platforms. Uh, one of the good example I can actually tell that uh, uh, we support different uh, edge locations like edge technology. Uh, to to actually uh, reduce the latency uh, communication between a device and the server uh, when people are traveling across the globe. Uh, uh, so we have a roadmap basically to move all our edge locations to Oracle. And especially for this project, Oracle team has come out with a, a with a with a solution that they don't have out of the box. Uh, they actually. Uh, helped us building our Postgres database that can replicate the data across uh, uh, multiple regions. It's not like multiple clusters, it's like multiple regions. This is one of the requirements that we need uh, for us. And they provide us like a custom solution that can help Zimperian to migrate edge locations into, into Oracle. Uh, also, we have a roadmap of moving one of our uh, consumer deployment applications uh, into Oracle as well. That requires basically uh, elastic search as we manage like large volumes of data, and we are planning towards doing that uh, as soon as we have a solution for elastic search. Thank you for sharing your uh, experience with the Oracle Cloud Platform and, and the team, and uh, uh, thank you for joining us for this uh, session of Built and Deployed. Look forward to yet more sessions to come, and uh, we'll, we'll be talking again soon. I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you so much, Henry.